Yeah. It's a Christmas present, yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a Christmas present from the community, basically, yeah. An act of kindness just helped fill a hole in the budget at one Beaver County School District. It all started with a Christmas photo shoot and ended with relief in the school cafeteria. KDK's Megan Schiller takes us to the community coming together to pay down student lunch debt. Katie Press loves a good photo shoot, but especially one with a cause. More than 20 families posed with the big guy in red in front of her camera, and she decided a portion of the money would go straight to her alma mater. So the first part I did a, a Santa shoot, and um, I do that every year to try to benefit something in the community. Um, I was able to raise, I think, $1,100 um, from doing that. Um, and then all I did was just post on Facebook, like, hey, this is what I'm doing. That's when the community stepped up in a big way, donating not just money for the kids. And we ended up giving uh, $1,625. And then plus um, like items like socks and pants and blankets and um, you know, shampoo and stuff like that. Prest walked into Freedom Area High School wanting to help as many kids as possible. I don't think they understood the magnitude that I was trying to come at them with. When I went in to pay the debt, they're like, oh, what's your student's name? And I'm like, no, you don't get it. It's <laughs> all of them. The community's act of kindness even wound up in the school newspaper. Randy Walker knows the importance of a hot meal. Some of the students, um, to, to be quite honest, across the nation, uh, their school lunch is the best meal they get all day. And that's just a, you know, a sad fact of the situation. That's why I spend so much time in this cafeteria buying the food and crafting the menu. The most popular lunch is uh, it's chicken nuggets, cheese sauce and a hot pretzel. But this holiday season, Walker says some Freedom Area parents will be happy to hear their debts are now erased. The people in the higher economic class, they don't really have to worry about paying for meals and the people who are in the lower economic class don't really have to worry about it because they qualify for the free program. It's those it's the middle class that's right on the edge that really needs the help and they're the ones that are, you know, deciding between should I buy, you know, should I get my prescriptions or pay my utility bills. I'm Megan Schiller, KDKA News.